Hello everybody, Eric Secondary Machine. This morning I'm back working on stuffing this uh, one horsepower motor where the old half horsepower motor used to live. And so, uh, learned some interesting stuff right here at the very end of getting that stuffed in there. So it turns out that there's actually, this can pivot in two different positions. And it was in the lower position before and like literally right at the end of the project, I realized that, oh, if you just move that up, you don't have to do any of this other shit you did. <laughs> so it turns out I probably actually didn't need to do all this work with uh, changing up this box and stuff to accommodate everything because I probably could have actually done it without messing with that. But anyway, I've got lots of extra room now. So I wish I had seen that to begin with, but anyhow... So the electrical, so basically I sat down today, I'm waiting on this wheel to come in, a new wheel, because you can see how badly damaged it is when it fell off of the bench. But uh, so I, it dawned on me this morning that, you know what, I could at least figure out the rest of how to wire it and everything and be prepared so that when the wheel does get here, all I got to do is stick it in. But I could already have the rest of this mounted to the bench. Everything could be done. And so I've kind of jumped back into this. So... I figured out the wiring, I got the motor to run, um, and then I'm like getting ready to assemble everything, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, it's running the wrong direction. So I did not wire this, by the way, I didn't, it's a drum switch, I don't want it to be able to do reverse, and the reason I don't want it to do reverse is because it's a threaded spindle, and I don't want the chuck falling off, so I don't care if it can run in reverse or not, I'm never going to use it. And if I did need to run it in reverse, I know how to rewire it so that it can run in reverse. But anyway, so I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, it's running in the wrong direction. So I completely rip everything apart, rewire it, put the whole damn thing back together, fire it up. And I realized, no, now it's running backwards. <laughs> so I had to tear it completely back apart again, rewire it. But now I've got it going so that... It's just a single throw, just going to run in forward. That's all I want it to do. The full one horse motor fits where the half horse motor used to fit. There's like a, it was going to cost me like 38 bucks or something restocking fee if I couldn't make this motor fit in here if it didn't turn out to work. So, um, yeah, I just wish I would have realized that there's two different pivot points here. Um, so I've got it in the upper now, but actually that's really nice because actually when I, I started to put this together before I discovered it, I had it in the other pivot point and this, there was just about half of an inch. It was going to be right down here on top of the bench. I was thinking I was going to need to build a spacer for underneath of this plate to get me enough room because the whole thing, it's got to tilt to get you where you can slacken the belt up to adjust to which pull you want it to be on. Now I've got plenty of room. I'm gonna to get to go through and reassemble this, um, which I'm gonna do when I get done with this video. Um, so I just wanted to show really quick how this came out. It looks super pro. Um, I think in the last uh, video, I was actually talking about, I was gonna buy a rubber grommet for the power coming into the side of this box. Instead, I ended up using that mill cutter to um, just mill a round hole in here. And I had some of these uh, these metal ones already in stock. And so I just used the metal one on the inside of the box here that's threaded on there. So it's nice and secure. So this all looks like super pro. I mean, it'd be nice to have the old motor on there just for the idea that it looks the part. Like, you know, it's an old tool and this is really probably the original motor, which looks right when it's on there, but, you know, and to go back and revisit this, when I say half horsepower isn't enough, I I don't think I'm getting a full half horsepower to this. I kind of thought it might be the capacitor, which I replaced, which might have made the motor run a tad stronger, but when you try to even take like a 20 thou cut with this motor, you can feel it bogging down. Like it just, Either there's something wrong with it or half horsepower just isn't enough. I don't know which one it is, but yeah, I need to be able to take a cut when I take a cut. And uh, I don't have all day to do 10th out at a time. So 
Now I've got a full horse. Three quarter, I probably, a good solid three quarter horse would probably have been fine for this, but you know what? Uh, I live by the uh, the idea that more is better. So anyhow, I'm going to uh, let you guys go and uh, go ahead and get this mounted back onto the bench. It's still, I looked yesterday, I think I'm still about four days out on getting the new wheel here. So uh, I think it's supposed to come like next Tuesday. Today's Friday. So I'm looking forward to that arriving so that I can finally be done with getting you know, at least being able to use this lathe. So uh, another quick update here is uh, I changed out the wipers on uh, from the kit um, back here. This There's two long wide ones, one at the front, one at the back. And I also did the four little way wipers here um, on the saddle. So did that yesterday. Um, really happy with how the spindle went back in. I can't wait to use this rubber belt. Um, I did, I was asking people what that other belt material was. I was on eBay this morning and I actually saw where somebody is selling that same belt material. Uh, it doesn't say exactly what it is, but it's a composite material of some sort. Either way, I wasn't real thrilled with that. I'm going to be really stoked to have rubber on there anyhow. So anyway, just a quick update on what's going on with the lathe and I'll let you guys go. Talk to you later. Eric with Secondary Machine.